then something was going on, you can proceed. Somebody, they have been narrating something. We, they are given all the details. श्रीमते रामानुजाय नमः मनसः ईशिद्री बुद्धि मनीषी तद्वान मनीषी ना हाँ दैट फोर्स ऑफ इंटेलेक्ट व्हिच ड्राइव्स द माइंड टू गो टुवर्स एक्शंस व्हाट वी कॉल अस डिस्क्रीशन प्रूडेंस that force is known as Manishi and as distinguishable from the other species of the world as human beings are possessing that special proclivity which guides the mind to go for proper rationalistic thinking and implementation they are known as Manishis or Manushyas so some type of the special arrangement of exalted mind guided by intellect and determination that is manas, buddhi, chitta etc. He is said to be a human being. It is just an explanation or it may be even considered to be a lexicographic meaning and it may differ from each and every person in proportions. Starting from the basic instincts of human beings such as excretion, reproduction, sleep and other things etc. The human mind, it consists of lot of unexplorable, abysmal, obscure regions which are carved with the various modifications or manifestations of mind in the forms of sensations, emotions, feelings, both latent, clandestine or uh, explosion, various methods are there for revealing the same. If for each and everything, you know that there must be a culmination point. If there is a basic instinct for human life, human behavior, and if it is something greater than that, what we call attachment, affection, love, altruism, magnanimity, benevolence, charity, purity, perfection, there are innumerable such qualities which are nothing but the ways or the stages of culmination level for enhancement of one's own mind. So unalloyed pristine mind, while it is travelling in ascending evolution, it will reach so many qualities. The best quality of human evolution is understanding dharma. So the specially arranged coordinated mind with a prudential intellect is Manishi and human being is a natural possessor of it and amidst the uncountable attributes of human evolution, psychic evolution, understanding dharma is the threshold of liberation. What is dharma? Dharma is not something which is very specific or particular. It differs from various levels of approach. There are contextual variations, temporal variations, personal variations, consequential variations. Just as a judge sentences a person to death in the name of justice and a person kills one's own enemy in the war field in the name of patriotism, which if done with personally motivated emotion, it becomes a murder which is culpable, which is known as homicide. So if this dharma is something far beyond human perception is having contextual, circumstantial, consequential and the various other derivations. Understanding dharma is the motto of human life. After understanding, practicing the dharma and preaching the same, teaching the same, inculcation, the same towards the aberrant generations and towards the benefit of the all-round success and happiness of the society, 
it becomes a duty of each and every person to do that dharma prachara promulgation of propagation of dharma how we can know about this dharma it is just like measuring the depth of the ocean with one's own palm and try trying to count the number of stars in the sky with one's own arithmetic table dharma is something which is infinite which is unintelligible by the person's limited proclivity it can be understood only from shastras the vedas which are said to be axiomatic that is swata pramana nitya nirdosha immaculate and apaursheya that has no origin that is the only source of dharma that is a blemishless and consummately trustworthy source of dharma and those interpretations given by the seers who have understood the dharma and explained the same out of their austerity and penance and the persons who are just like mobile dharmas those who are the practitioners of dharma who are in the society and who are the role model of human life and its ambition there are several methods of understanding dharma but vedas they form the blemishless self axiomatic origin so a person's motto is to understand analyze practice apply inculcate preach and establish dharma there are so many dharmas samanya dharma vishesha dharma is the general classification bifurcation of the varieties of dharma included in it that which is meant for a safe secure and meaningful survival in this loka iha and para there are two types of worlds one is the palpable life which we do with this body where the atma sojourns where the soul sojourns that's what we call sharira yatra for the journey of this body for the safer journey of this body we have to understand and practice so many things that is iha sadhana those dharma such as truth education erudition understanding subservience that is vinaya gyana bhakti vairagya there are uncountable such attributes which are known as samanya dharmas that which is meant for a good survival and establishment in this world that which totally extirpates the purpose